All right, Chris Groff here from KSAT, Kruger School of Applied Technologies. We're going to be creating a whack-a-mole arcade style game like the one you see in front of you. Part one, we're going to be setting up these components here. Let's go ahead and create a new project. You want to name it whack-a-mole all together. And then once your project opens, let's go to screen one and let's go down to the title and name it Whack-A-Mole. You can space inside of this title. There we go. All right. So we're going to start out by adding in our game component. So under drawing and animation, you'll get a canvas. And let's rename this one the game canvas. and we're going to upload a background image and what it is is the green with the holes in it. I'm doing this a little different than the tutorial online. So you're going to upload your background image, go to choose file. In my class you'll go to the 506 App Inventor folder and then the Whack-A-Mole folder. Select the game canvas right here and open it up. Basically what I've done is I've created a 320 by 320 pixel canvas here. And I'm just going to go to the width and the height and just type those in as well. Because I've tested that out and I know that works. Once you have your game canvas in, we're going to add in the image sprites and set up the X and the Y for each of them. So we're going to have an image sprite for each of the holes. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this one. We'll rename this one Hole 1. And for hole 1, the X will be 18, and the Y will be 55. And when you put it in, it doesn't line up exactly on the hole. That's all right. I've tested it out, and it works. So we're going to go with that. We'll add in our second image sprite. This will be hole 2. Properties for hole 2, the X is 127 and the Y will be 55. Add in another image sprite, rename it hole 3. The X for hole 3 is 237 and the Y will be 55. Okay, so these all have the same height, just different widths. Image sprite 4 you're going to name it hole 4. The X for hole 4 is 72 and the Y is 137. And then our last hole that we're going to be making, hole 5. We're going to put the X at 180 and the Y at 137. We're going to add in another image sprite, and this is going to be our mole, the mole that we'll be moving around. So we'll name the, the image sprite mole. And we want to set the Z at 2. That way our mole is above the rest of these. The Z would be like it sticking out in front of it. And let's upload a picture of our mole. So we'll go to picture, upload file, choose file. In that same folder, you will have the mole picture. Just open it up, click OK. We now have our mole. We're going to set it to follow these holes or to sit on them just like this with our blocks. So the X and the Y, where you have it placed in here, does not matter. After that, we're going to set up two horizontal arrangements. So under Layout, select Horizontal Arrangement. And you're going to drag in, actually, let's rename this one. So this arrangement, let's name it the hits arrangement. It's going to score or it'll house the hits label. So we're going to add in two labels. The first one you want to rename hits label. And the hits label, the text is going to be the word hits. The second label we're going to rename hits value. And that is going to be the score. So like when you press the mole, it'll give us a value. So I'm going to set the text at zero for that. 
our next we'll go to layout again our next horizontal arrangement is going to be for the misses so we'll rename the component misses horizontal arrangement and then inside of that like we did before we're going to add in two labels So our first label we're going to rename, that'll be the Mrs. label. And we'll type in where it says text, we'll type in Mrs. The second label we're going to rename Mrs. value. And we'll give that text a value of zero. Okay, once you have that, we need to add in a couple more items. We're going to add in a clock. So under user interface, we'll grab a clock. This clock is going to be moving around our mole, so we're going to rename it mole clock. And we're going to leave the timer interval at 1,000 milliseconds or one second. So every second, the mole will move. We're going to add in a sound. So under media, you want to get sound. And let's rename the sound. We're going to call it buzzer. So basically we're going to use this every time we hit the mole, we click it, the buzzer will go off and our phone will vibrate. And then the last thing we're going to add for our components is a reset button. So you want to drag in a button, name it the reset button. And under properties you're going to change your text to say reset. And once you have that finished up, you are done with part one. You have all your components in there. Part two, we're going to start programming our mole to move.